Getting our, our audience on here, give them a second. I think so, we've been very busy. Very, very. Yeah, so welcome everybody. Welcome. You know it's us by the music. <laughs> everybody does. Hello. Here we are. Live studio audience. Yes, we have an audience <laughs> today. Always a pleasure. It is. My our, pen. You need your pen? I need my pen. Okay. Our top story today is California market statistics for August 2021. <laughs> That's right. Oh, I'm trying to get 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 us li live here. There, there we go. So I can see you when you're commenting. That, that, that I know. Okay. Are we live? Did you get we us are. live? Yes. There. Hey, look. There we are. <laughs> Who is anyway, that? Anyway, I'm Lisa. <laughs> I'm Gary. And we are going to talk about some real estate numbers here. So we want to start. The California median home price set a record price, all-time record price in August of 2021. $827,940. That is up 17.7% uh, year over year. That sounds precise. Now that's the whole state of California, That is the correct? state of yes. California, but that is a big number. Yeah, I mean, that's, that's a lot of money. It's like a million bucks. I know. It's crazy. And the charts, I didn't print out the charts, but the million dollars, the over million dollar sales and pricing, the chart is like straight up. The things that have sold, you know, three and 400% more is that super luxury market. It's just been nuts. And I like what your pin did. It went straight up and then what did it do? Down. Oh no, don't say that. Yeah. <laughs> no, it's coming down from the high <laughs> yes, a few no, it's months ago. Up. But I mean, it's still up here. It's <laughs> yes, up here yes, yes, <laughs> still yes. in that super luxury market. <laughs> higher, higher, and higher. That's, That's what right. we're looking at. So what kind of number would, be, would we be looking at if we were looking at just, let's say, Southern California, where we live? Well, Southern California median home price is at $760,000. That is up 18.8% year over year. Again, big numbers. No kidding, 19% a year. That uh, is definitely sustainable for how many years? Uh, uh, not very <laughs> many since it was about that the year before. So if we were went out 20 years at 20%, that's what? That's Four, a big number. That's 400%? <laughs> A lot. <laughs> hey, it's more than it's more than you're gonna get in your CD. <laughs> well, it could change. It, it could change. It could change. Oh, then Ventura County, uh, the the median home price is eight hundred and fifty three thousand dollars in August, um, up fifteen percent year over year. Well, that sounds odd because some of the shows we had done, we had Ventura County up twenty two percent year over year. I think that was twenty twenty. As the year, and as we're running into 2021, it's going year over year. Roll, okay, so rolling 12 months. Yeah, so it's starting to roll down. It's yes. not. It was higher a few months ago, but just because now we're rolling down. Right. So I think that would be indicative of the market slowing down. What we've seen is anywhere from five to six percent. So it's really not slowing down much, but it does seem to be pacing itself a little more than it has in the past. Well, I think the best analogy is the speeding on the freeway. You're going 100 miles an hour and you slow down to 80, you're still speeding. Yes, you are. <laughs> yes, yes, you are. You're still breaking the law either way. <laughs> I mean, that was going fast. <laughs> well, and we just put a home on the market in the low 600s, and we got six offers almost immediately on that house. And we're way over and probably going higher. Way over. Yeah, it's just crazy. The median days on market is nine days, um, down 30.8% year over year. So if you are thinking about selling your home, you need to be ready to know where you are going because your house is going to sell. <laughs> right. <laughs> well, when we're talking nine days, it's not like they're moving out in nine days. It means that it has an accepted contractual offer on the house in nine days. That's right. So it usually takes probably about 30 days, sometimes a little sooner than that. Uh, we just closed one in two weeks. It was all cash, closed very quickly, vacant home. But normally when it's on the market, we're talking nine days on the market, nine days on the market under contract closes 30 days later. So the whole transaction, 39 days. Well, it closes in 30 days under perfect conditions giving the lender the lenders usually the hold up on the days on mark on the days of escrow 
Yes, we make sure it isn't us. <laughs> no, we are very motivated to get them closed. Yes. For top dollar, quickly. We are, because that's what benefits the seller the most, and that's what benefits the buyer the most. That's right. In this market, it's getting the buyer the deal. Mm -hmm. Very difficult, but we do it every single day. That's right. So in August 2021, the sales, 414,860 units closed in, Calfor uh, in California, up 21%. So 415,000 units sold August of 2021. Seems like a lot, doesn't it? That's a lot of money, especially if you add in this the 827,000. Yes. Yeah. So 827,940 dollars times 400,000 units. Mm -hmm. That's crazy. Is, that's a lot of money. And the price per square foot also hit an all-time high of $395 per square foot. That's up 25% uh, year over year. And seven out of 10 homes closed above the asking price. Seven out of 10. Uh, LA County, about 70%. Ventura County is almost there, 70%. And Santa Barbara County, about 65% of the homes closed over the asking price. Um, on that chart, the top of that chart is the Bay Area. So Alameda County, Contra Costa County, San Francisco County, they're up into the 80s plus percent of homes selling over the asking price there. Um, I just heard about one in Oakland that closed a million dollars over asking. Well, that was one happy seller. Oh, I mean, it's just crazy. And probably a happy buyer too because they bought the property. Right. So when you're looking at the inventory or the units is up 21% and everybody's saying there's less inventory, this is actually given a different story than what we're hearing other people say. This is saying the units are up, but sales are up too. So right, well demand is up. So even though the sales are up, I mean you still have the prices selling over the asking price, which means demand is still higher than supply. Yep, it does, but it's not like supply is non-existent. Supply seems to be going along at an increasing rate, but days on market are less and prices are higher. So it is still a supply 101. Yep, supply and demand. High, high demand, low supply. And inventory remains tight in August of 2020. It was about a 2.1 month supply of homes for sale. And this year, 2021, we're down to 1.9% months of inventory on the market. That is not many months on the market, less than two months. Well, they say an, an equal market is six months worth of inventory on the market, and we haven't seen that ever. Ever, no. not in the last 20 years we haven't seen that in uh -huh. Ventura County. No. Um, so sales continue to outprice new listings. Um, and then you talk about some of these high prices that, that things are coming on the market. Still, only 25% of homes on the market have a price reduction at all. And the average median price reduction is only 5%. So uh, things that are coming on the market are either selling at their price or over. And then only a few, you know, quarter are having any, uh, any kind of price reduction and then only a small one. Yeah, it's not like they're slashing at 10, 20, 30%. They're slashing at 5%, and then they're getting traction on that. All right. We had we, one. Go ahead. No, go ahead. No, you go ahead. <laughs> we, I think we're thinking about the same, same story. We have yeah. a listing that we, lo we lowered the price. We had it on. We lowered the price, and then, boom, we had offers bid it right back up to the original asking price. <laughs> we did, yes. It was listed. Pretty dramatic price reduction. Mm hmm and then it got bid right back up to Multiple we offers <laughs> bid back to the original price. <laughs> that doesn't happen every day, no. but it was the right strategy for our seller. That's right, to get them top dollar. To get them top dollar, of And course. it worked out. So whether you're buying or selling, there is good news in the market, whether you're a buyer or a seller. And the good news if you're a buyer is mortgage rates are still at record lows. Um, historically, 5.1% is the interest rate. We're still under 3%, 2.86%. And the median monthly payment, now these are national uh, numbers, the median rent is $1,607 versus the median home buyer payment is $1,255. So it pays to be a home owner versus a renter where you can control your housing costs. Well, yeah, based on these numbers, if you buy versus rent, you're gonna be saving 400 bucks a month nationally. That's right. And so, I mean, there's a lot of places. And I think here too, if you bought your home 
uh, in California 10, 15, 20 years ago, it's definitely cheaper to own your home than to rent. <laughs> well, I think if you bought your house a year ago, mm. and that would have been, let's say, August of 2020, when the market was very hot, it's still very hot, mm -hmm. you would still almost have a 20% gain, and rents have definitely gone up that much on single family dwellings. Uh, apartment rents haven't gone up as much as a single family house has. Yeah, but it's still, I mean, it's hard to find a rental too. It's just a crazy time. That it is. I set up, I did a mailer last night. We have a buyer who wants a specific property. So I did a, a whole stack of letters last night to home owners that have this particular floor plan and mailed them out. Please, do you want to sell your house? Please call me. <laughs> yeah, for full service, that's for sure. Yes, but even if you don't get one of my letters, we'd be happy to list your house. So give us a call. We love to talk about real estate. Gary and Lisa .com. Your real estate edge. Thanks, guys.